will now request uh, the second uh, presenter, Dr. Sriman Narayana from uh, Manipal Hospital, Vijayawada. Respected chairperson, this is a multi-vessel PTCA in a patient with a situs inversus. The basic object of our presentation uh, is to highlight the technical challenges in a patient with situs inversus in dextrocardia, both angiogram and uh, successful PTCA. Sorry, it's not going, yeah. This is a 50-year-old male. He is presented with annual and minimal exertion and SOB and exertions for the past two months. And he was on regular treatment for the hypertension for the past five years. And he is non-diabetic and he is a non-smoker. Yeah, and ECG showed negative P wave in one AVL and positive R in AVR. There is poor progression of R wave and there are Q waves in the inferior leads. Already there is uh, evolved inferior wall MI and uh, chest structure showed the uh, aortic arch is uh, right sided and there is fundic uh, gas showed on the right side. And uh, this is a uh, echocardiogram. Echocardiogram showed infro positive wall hypokinesia with a trivial MR and there is no TR, mild TR, there is no PH and there is no other uh, coexisting congenital heart disease. And he was put on optimum medical management, then subsequently he was taken up for uh, coronary angiogram. Basically, cannulation of the coronaries in the, uh, in the presence of uh, dextrocardia with uh, right sided aortic arch is sometimes difficult because of the mirror images. Here, we are able to cannulate the Judkins catheter with uh, JL35 diagnostic catheter, and uh, that showed middle lady critical lesion after the origin of the major septal. Then next most important thing is uh, acquisition of the images. Here, uh, for example, if you, are, uh, you want to view the, get the image like REO cranial, that is a uh, standard view, you have to go to the orthogonal 90 degree view, that is LAO cranial view, so we can uh, better delineate the picture. Not only the cannulation, even the, we are not routinely used to the, these uh, images, so sometimes that give you a little confusion. So you should be able to understand the orientation and uh, images. Next thing is the right side coronary artery. Here we are, could not able to cannulate the right coronary artery with uh, standard Judkins catheter because of the inferior takeoff. Another most important uh, point is here, normally for uh, engaging the right coronary artery, we have to rotate the catheter in the clockwise, whereas in the presence of dextrocardia and uh, Situs inverses, we have to rotate the catheter anticlockwise to get into the right system. So here we are able to engage with the 6 French AR2. Here the mid RCA shows to diffuse critical lesion. Then after explaining the both options of revascularization, we, he opted for uh, double vessel PTCA and uh, he underwent uh, PT, successful PTCA to both LAD and RCA. Then LAD was uh, directly stented with uh, 3 into 18 uh, stent followed by the post dilation with uh, 3 into 12 uh, NC balloon. The end result was very good. There is mild blocking proximal stent and uh, that was managed medically for the past two years and almost the case was done two years over. He is uh, doing very well. And uh, the mid RCA lesion is very critical. So it, uh, we pre dilated the mid RCA lesion with 2 into 12 balloon. And then 3 into 23 stent was deployed then followed by post dilatation with the 3 into 12 NC balloon. Then uh, the subsequent final result, there is a TME3 flow, there is no dissection and well deployed strand. Basic idea is to discuss the technical challenges. Not only this is a rare case because the instance is 1 in 10,000 and there is only limited published data about double vessel PTC in a patient with situs inverses. And the instance of CAD in this subgroup is same as for the general population. And all cath labs at some point of the time will come across one such patient for uh, diagnostic angiography, especially adult cath labs and uh, are for the intervention. All these technical challenges we can overcome by understanding the anatomy and orientation of the aorta and there is a slight modification to the standard uh, existing techniques for the catheter manipulation. For example, uh, right side we have to rotate uh, anti-clockwise. And there is an interesting article published by, in, by P.K. Goyal in 2005 that is a double inversion technique that is for the image acquisition by combination of right to left image reversal plus reversed LAO REO angle selection. So you can get the images like your standard conventional uh, images. So there won't be any issues while engaging or doing the PTCA. Thank you.
So, why couldn't you use that double reverse uh, technique? Because the our, uh, this is our two years back, our cath lab was not uh, having that uh, facility. Yeah, sir. in fact, the if you… The present models are having that… Uh, if you use that double, double reverse technique, which is… which uh, nowadays can be done yeah, in every cath lab, then the, the pictures just look like yeah, yeah, conventional yeah. views and, and there is no difficulty at all. And surprisingly, engaging uh, coronaries in situs inverses uh, is not very difficult yeah. except that uh, right coronary you have to rotate yeah, anti-clock. Inferior takeoff was there.